What's up? <laughs> oh, where's my other earring at? Hmm. Hopefully I didn't lose it. So I'm waiting for everybody to get on here. What's good? What's popping? How you doing? I'm back again with another video for everybody. So title of this live video. Hey girl. Title of this video is why you're not making sales in your online online store so we're gonna get right to it so whoever's late can get back to the replay also if you're new here subscribe to my youtube channel link in my bio or in my description hi girl so let's get right to it this is why you're not making sales in your in your online store number one you have a problem with your content marketing so number one mistake is having a, a really bad uh, content marketing strategy so a lot of people think that they're just gonna post like regular photos right and the problem with that you want it to look professional but not in terms of professional photography you don't you don't need to hire you don't need to hire a photographer if you have money go for it but for the ones that don't have the funds to do to hire a photographer and do like professional photo shoots you can just use your iphone or android if you have a good camera use the back camera not the front camera because the front camera is terrible quality okay so use the back camera and then you can attach a mirror in front okay so you can see what you're doing and I just ordered this new lighting that you can attach on your phone um, I'm gonna create another video whenever it comes here today or tomorrow but you need a ring light okay now you can also go outside and do natural lighting and take your photos and videos now instead of just taking photos you also need to create videos and whenever you do the videos you want to do the reels style video okay and don't forget to also create a TikTok account and create a business account and a personal account so a personal account is gonna be you and then the business account is the business account and you want to promote on both accounts the reason why is because TikTok's business accounts you can't use like um those musics the music that are popping because it's copyrighted but if you have a personal account on TikTok you can post with music now you want to post reels almost every day or every other day because if you only if you're only posting on your regular feed the only people that are going to see it are your followers now if you don't have a lot of followers if you only have 500 followers if you only have 90 followers <laughs> no one's really gonna see it okay you need to use the correct hashtags okay so let me know in the comment section what do you guys sell so I can give you guys an example uh, let me know what kind of items you guys sell so I can give you an example of what's post okay now the hashtags you need to make sure that the hashtags that you're using are relevant to what you're posting think about your ideal customers are they going to search for it if you're selling lashes you need to post about lashes hashtag lashes right if you're po if you're posting about a lip product you have to research all the hashtags related to lip products if it's a makeup anything makeup related lipstick lip gloss and lashes so you want to research hashtags that are related to makeup and beauty okay now how are you gonna find out how are you gonna research you want to go to explore page or similar lashes lip gloss lashes whatever that you're selling you want to look at similar brands and look at their posts and the one the ones that have a lot of likes and the one the ones that the videos that they have that have a lot of views 
look at their hashtags okay now some of them don't even have hashtags and they go viral and why is that the reason why is because of the content people engage with content that are relatable okay it could be the music okay it could be the audio choice you want to use the audio that are popular on reels in TikTok. Don't come up with just your own stuff. I mean, you can, but it's better if you're using the popular audios. Okay, and how you're gonna do that is you go to your homepage, and then there is a button in the bottom. In the middle is, is the Reels button. You're gonna click it and scroll through. And the more you scroll through, the more it's gonna give you the suggested audios. Now, the content, okay? Now, like I said, you wanna reach audiences that are outside of your follower base because if you're limiting yourself with your own followers, you don't have enough, you don't have any followers. You don't have enough followers that are, that can see your post, right? Now, another way that you can go outside of your own follower account is uh, hiring influencers okay paying influencers to promote your products you want to find the ones that are they that are qualified to promote your products if they have over 50k followers and they're posting similar content that is related to your brand if you feel like this influencer um, are already if you see them on their page they have a lot of comments you want to look for someone who is um, you want to look at their page and make sure that there is over 50 comments at least 100 comments on their post okay minimum 50 to 100 comments per post on their page if there's only 10 comments on their page then there's not an enough engagement. So there's no point of paying them. There's no point of paying them if they only have 10 comments on their post. So now you make sure it's the correct, it's the right one. Now, whenever you're paying for influencer, it's a, it's a hit or miss, right? Because you'll never know what's gonna happen until they actually post it. Now you wanna make sure that if you hire an influencer you send them an agreement right saying like how much you're, you're paying them if they say three hundred dollars don't just say okay ask them hey um we're, you know can we negotiate because you know we're still a small business blah blah, blah. you need to you need to learn how to talk to them like a business and also if you email them or send them a dm don't don't make it look like you're a spammer or you don't know what you're talking about because they're not going to take you seriously. So if you send them a DM saying like, hey girl, can you promote my products? Like, that's not going to that's not gonna work. They're just going to like read it and exit out. <laughs> okay. And on top of that, you need to build your page before you even reach out to the bigger influencers. Okay. Who do you recommend? to create a website. Me, I create websites. <laughs> so if you're interested in creating a professional website, you can send me a, a DM on Instagram. Okay. Um, Shopify is what I use. So let's get back to the influencers. So if, if you're paying over, uh, if you're paying for influencers that have over 50K followers, you need to have a professional email you need to have first you need to have a business email you can't be just like uh you can't just have like at yahoo.com or at gmail.com because they're not going to take you seriously before you work with influencers that have over 50k followers you need to have i mean period if you have a business and you want to take this seriously if you you know if you want to create a real brand you need to have a business email and and your website needs to be professional right um, on top of that the number one thing before you work with influencers that have over 50 like like a lot of followers right 
you need to build your page because they're gonna go to your instagram and if they see that you don't got nothing going on on your instagram they're not gonna take you seriously because they know that you don't know what you're doing so what you need to post a minimum of like shoot 30 30 photos 30 videos like you need to have a full like i should be able to scroll three times on your page and see content now you need to have photos and videos of your products like i had people asking me like what should i post like what do you mean what you should you post like <laughs> you need to post about your products what else are you gonna post your dogs your cats your your best friends yourself like <laughs> come on man like just think about it what are you gonna post on your page don't be posting about um quotes motiv motivational quotes I mean that's cute you know if it's relatable and if it's something like related to your products but if it's not related to your products then if it's not related to your products then don't post it you need to only be posting about your products and your customers photos and videos you need to have testimonials you need to have reviews if you don't know anybody who can do who can model for your brand if you don't have to do it yourself if you don't want to put your face out there that's fine but you need to have somebody else you need to have a group of people at least five you need to have at least five models five to ten actually so you can either hire your friends and a lot of us know that when you have a friend you know you have these friends they found out that you got a new business they don't want to support you they don't want to like help you out okay don't worry about them don't worry about them friends and family they don't they're not going to support you because that's just how it is they don't give a shit okay <laughs> so you gotta go outside of the, your circle you can go to facebook groups and post on your your local city um facebook group if you have like um there are facebook groups that are like for entrepreneurs right maybe they can help you out you can post a job listing you can hire um somebody on from instagram and then there's this website that i will share with you it's called billo app billow dot app b i l l o dot app and what is that is you can um pay for content creators to create content for your brand but before you even go to that website you need to know what to tell them and how to promote your products you can't just like ask people to promote and model your products if you don't if you're not giving them an instruction of how to do it correctly because if you're just telling people to like hey promote my products can you do this and that like they need to understand exactly what to do you need to tell them what kind of video you need to tell them if they should talk on the video you need to tell them if you want it on a set on a, of a certain angle or lighting or something right if you have a script you need to have a script right so what kind of content should you have you need to have a review where it's could be like an unboxing review right like unboxing this package from this company blah, blah blah now the testimonial how to um how to use the products model the products right so <laughs> so if you're serious about your brand you need to be taking notes and do it not just like listen but you need to take action on this so um yeah so you need to have posts about your products and how to use the products model it okay and tell them if you have friends that are giving you model photos or if you even if it's you don't be putting too much filters that uh it's gonna make your photos and videos washed washed out it's okay if it's like making your photos more crisp and vibrant but not like to the point that the colors are like washed out you don't want your colors of your videos washed out because it doesn't look good so it's better if it's like you know just bright and crisp <laughs> so what else now you need to have a lot of posts on your page before you reach out to the influencers 
So whenever you, before you work with influencers, because you, they're gonna ask for money, right? So what, you can, what can you do? If you don't have a lot of money, you either promote it yourself, take videos of it yourself, or hire content creators that have less, that have like less than 10,000 followers. If you find content creators that have less than 10,000 followers, they are more likely to charge you little to nothing because they don't really have followers. You're paying them for your for their content. So you can give them a, a, a sample of your product in exchange for a review, okay, in exchange for a photo. So another thing, you can sell in person. If you can sell in person, that's better. Um, if you can find like pop-up shops in your city, then go do it, right? Um, what else? That's what you need to do before you worry about ads. So like some people think they just, they're just going to do ads and that's it. And there's going to be a lot of like mistakes with that because number one, if you don't, your page is not, it's not popping, <laughs> you're wasting your money, right? So your website needs to look professional. It needs to look like a professional, legitimate brand. It does, it's not supposed to look like you just created it yesterday. Yeah, like you need to, just think about it. If you click on your website, where you, are you gonna trust and buy from it? Like just put yourself in your customer's shoes. Another thing I'm noticing with the websites that are like newbies, there's too much things to click before I get to the product. So. I, I was actually browsing this website like an hour ago and then it took me three to four times to click on something before I find the item that I'm looking for. So don't do that guys, like that's just too much complication with the customer. You need to have a web banner and then you need to have your collections right up front so that your customers can just click on it and just buy right away. And then don't expect your customers to just buy from your website if you haven't given them a reason to do it, to buy from your website. And what? how do you give them a reason to buy from your website? That starts with your content marketing from your social media. Um, what else? You can also look for YouTubers who can promote your products. And like I said, before you even look, you know, ask for other people to promote your product, you need to fix your website. You need to um, have more content in your page. And then one more thing, you need to have an email marketing set up. So the email marketing app that I like is Omniscient and Clavio. So you'll see that if you have a Shopify app, you can look it up on the App Store inside Shopify. Clavio, K-L-A-V-I-O, or Omnisend, O-M-N-I-S-E-N. -S so the one that I like is Omnisend because I can create multiple different forms. I can, I can create a landing page. I can create so many things. So um, you can figure it out. If you don't want to pay nobody to help you out, then you have to figure it out yourself. <laughs> That's the thing I want to talk about because I get people like, I, I, I love helping y'all out. That's why I do this lives. I do the YouTube videos. I do my videos on Instagram. But y'all can't just like message me and ask me to help you out one on one. And you're not like signed up with my program. Because I have these other people that paid me to help them one on one. So... Like I can't like give you like my full attention if you're not willing to invest in your in your own business. So I'm already telling you what to do. All you have to do is figure out. If I say go get a you know have an email marketing and I'm already telling you the apps, you gotta go for it and like you can't just expect for a handout. Like you gotta go do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes, I have a mentorship program. And what it entails is I had like you get access with my online tutorials of like 
how to set up your website, how to set up your email marketing, how to set up your SMS marketing, how to post your content, what kind of po what kind of content to post, how to take your videos professionally, how to edit your photos on your website, how to use the right hashtags and setting up your ads together, me and you, you set it up. And then we do a weekly call, like a weekly Zoom call. You get an assignment every week so you know what you're doing. It's a 12-week program. Um, and then I also help with your website so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to pay. Like if you're on my, on my program, you don't have to pay for no website designer or Facebook ads agency. Okay, you don't got to pay no, no other things. Like everything is like all in one. Like I show you everything you'll need and have to do and there's so many things that i can share also like how to build your business credit you know stuff like that like a lot of people don't really teach what i'm teaching <laughs> um do you help with with building yes i i help with um building your shopify website because there's a certain way that i build my website you don't have to pay for no themes outside of what I share with you because the theme that I use, actually I'm gonna share with you the theme that I use is called Day Beautify, okay? And it comes with all the apps, the add-ons and all that stuff. Where do I sign up? <clears throat> so you have to um, attend my masterclass where I explain the marketing strategy so you're not confused. <laughs> so you go attend that and then at the end of that you will see an application form to apply so it's in the link in my bio so when you after this live go to my page and go to the link in my bio <clears throat> let me see what time it is okay so link in my bio and then if you're watching this on youtube it's in the link in my description it's gonna say apply for mentorship program or attend master class so let's do a little quick recap of why you're not making sales on your on your business number one you're only limiting yourself with your followers and you don't have enough followers number two you don't have the right content marketing so content marketing you need to post about your products model modeling your products um, you need to have you know how-to videos if it's something that people need to learn like if it's lashes a lot of times people don't know how to put on lashes and you you know if you wear lashes every single day for you maybe it's so easy right but some people you'll you'll be surprised that there are a lot of people out there they like how it looks but they're not sure how to put it on so you need to have a tutorial of how to put on lashes um uh, <clears throat> if it's a clothing line show them model it to them through videos not just photos videos 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 okay number three you're using the wrong hashtags so research the hashtags that is related to your post related to your brand and make sure and think ask yourself if you know I ask yourself are my dream customers searching for these hashtags right that's how you know if you're using the right ones and if you miss this video you can watch the replay because <clears throat> go back to the beginning because I told you guys how to find out what kind of content, what kind of hashtag to you, hashtags to you, sales. Um, so let me get back on. Can I e inbox you? Yes, of course. You can inbox me. I'm about to head out now, so... I'm going to repost this on my Instagram or my YouTube. Love you guys.